In this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Patagonia Ultralight Black Hole Tote Pack. Check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options. We'll leave links in the description below. Kicking it off, this is our sort of an initial thoughts. We're gonna tour some of the features going on with this pack. We haven't put it through too much testing yet, so we're just gonna kind of show you what's up. First and foremost, as you can see, it does compress. So this little pocket it's stuffed into is actually going to be a pocket inside the bag once we open it up, which we'll show you in a minute. And on the outside here, you've got a little clip, so you can either clip it to some things or clip it to itself on this little loop here, which of course is gonna be fumbly on video. But you hook it into itself, and then you've got a nice little loop if you wanna carry it for some reason or hang it up or something like that to keep it out of the way when you're storing it at home. Definitely an option. Also, it is part of the black hole line. This is the ultralight material, which is, you know, recycled, blue sign approved, ripstop material, and it's pretty nice. And we always appreciate it when brands are doing some things with recycled materials. So that's cool. Let's open this thing up and see what's going on with the rest of the bag. Now, it's not the hardest thing to compress, but it's not the easiest either. Something like the Patagonia Black Hole Duffel, the 40 liter duffel that we've reviewed and tested was quite a bit more difficult to stuff into itself, so this one's not too bad. Open up here, and as you can see, you have a 27 liter tote pack. So there's quite a bit of capacity for how small it stuffs into itself. And as a tote pack, that means it's got tote handles and backpack straps. So versatile carry, which is cool. First up on the outside here, you can see there are water bottle pockets, one on each side. They are stretchy and large, kind of a mesh-like material. So they should fit larger bottles, maybe a bottle of wine if you're taking this out for a picnic at the park or something like that. Plenty of room there. On the front here, you'll see a quick grab pocket, which is actually pretty nice. There's no organization going on inside, but it's large, so you can fit quite a few things in here. Anything you want access to quickly while you're out and about. Maybe if you're taking this thing to the beach, you want to throw your sunscreen in there just for a quick top-up, phone, keys, wallet, things like that. There's plenty of room. And then, if we're going to flip it over here, we'll start talking about the back a little bit. So at the top, there are tote handles, which you can just carry by hand. They're pretty thin. They're pretty lightweight. It's sort of like a thin seat belt like material. There's no padding or anything going at the top, but the, the handles themselves are folded over and sewn. So it's a little, little more comfortable to grab than if they weren't, but definitely not as comfortable as padding. Again, it's lightweight, it's packable, so that's kind of the goal here, I would imagine, just to not have anything too bulky. The second way to carry this thing is by the backpack straps. So there's a little bit of Velcro here that holds this sleeve down on the back, and that's where the backpack straps tuck into. So they just really quickly pop out, and then at the bottom of that pocket, there are these little pass-through holes, and that is where the bottom of the strap is. So they clip together pretty easily with these plastic clips, just put that together so you can see what it looks like, and there you go, backpack straps. Um, there's also a sternum strap in here, which is pretty cool for a packable bag. A lot of times, packable bags sacrifice that type of feature, so that's nice, and it's adjustable. Um, it, it just kind of pops off. Now, this one does feel relatively secure, but it can come off. We, we haven't had issues with this one, but with a, plenty of other bags we've tested, it has come off, and if you can see it's missing on this side, it's because I had it out and about earlier um, and, was, and was playing with it and pulled that one off. So we'll put that one back on just to show you what it looks like. Just kind of slip it through and clip it in. It is a relatively tight clip, which, which is nice for security, but again, just be careful with that. So now we've covered the outside pockets and the harness system, let's talk about the main compartment. So when you go to, to the top of this bag, you'll notice a few things going on. First, there's a zipper, so you can keep the top closed and all of your stuff secure. It works well, and it's got a clean top, so that's really nice. Another thing you'll notice flapping around here at the top is a drawstring. So if your bag is maybe overfilled a little bit, let's say that you're at the beach, Again, and you got your towels and everything 
filling up the thing. You don't really need the top closed and you can kind of have a little extra room with just a little bit of security keeping it in with that drawstring. So that's pretty nice. It's easy to go in and out. Also, you'll see it right on the inside here, there are compression straps. So those are for if you've got the bag overfilled, you know, you can really, really kind of stuff it full. You can see there's, there's quite a bit of extra space at the top here with these compression straps. So you can stuff it full and kind of use the straps to keep everything nice and compact and instead of needing to worry about the zipper, the drawstring, or use the drawstring in conjunction with the straps and try to keep everything really secure. One note about the compression straps is that they are on the inside of the zipper, so you can't really close this and then put something on top, like a yoga mat, for example. But that does keep the top nice and clean looking, which we appreciate. Now on the inside of the bag, this is where you'll see that, that pocket that it's stashed into. It kind of becomes a, an internal organization pocket, which you see right there. It is zippered, which is nice, and the key leash that, that we saw on the outside is now on the inside. So that's nice, it's a good little secure spot. Let's say you wanna put your, your wallet or something like that in here, it's a little more secure, it's under a couple of zippers. So, so that's nice. Also, if you just got some smaller bits that you wanna keep off the bottom of the bag, it's a good spot to do that too, because the rest of the bag is just, just an empty bucket. We'll see if we can show you in there. There's a ton of space, like we said, it's 27 liters, so there's quite a bit of room for a day bag, grocery bag, anything like that. Just fill it full of stuff. And finally, one last thing to talk about here on this bag is there is a little foam um, back panel going on. You can see there's a pocket in here with some Velcro. It's very thin, so it doesn't really give the bag structure, but just a little extra bit of comfort while you're wearing it as a backpack. Also, the folks at Patagonia say you can take it completely out and use it as a sit pad. So if you're sitting on something maybe wet or a little gross, you've got a little extra protection and it just is always with you because it pops right into the back of the bag like so. So there you have it. That is the Patagonia Ultralight Black Hole Tote Pack. Head over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support our channel at no additional cost to you. We'll leave links down below and we'll see you in the next video.